Hi everyone, it's Sue from workingonmyfitness.com and um, I wanted to uh, do a different video um, blog today, something that um, I haven't really covered lately and that's uh, eating and eating what I call eating mindfully and what that is to me, um, I define it as you know eating food and uh, just enjoying food but not, you know, eating all the bad stuff like the, the French fries and the cheeseburgers and the junk food like all the time. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, there are times when it's there and I, you know, have to eat, eat a couple Doritos because they taste really good. But like, you know, most of the time I try to eat as healthy as possible. I do think about, you know, not drinking soda. I drink a lot of water, you know, I drink a lot of tea coffee in the morning only one you know one cup a day and um, uh, eating mindfully is just something that I think everybody should you know do but you know enjoy food because food is food is life and you know it's it's awesome you know there's those there's just so much different food out there to like try and you know you, you can't just limit yourself oh because it's like it's not good for you because you know Trying it once is not going to kill you, but as long as you as long as you don't like eat it all the time, so you kind of have to give yourself some limits, and that's you know that's something I follow and I uh, I think is very important. So um, I wanted to share something that I uh, I actually like to eat this a lot, um, and uh, actually found it I actually discovered it when I went to Whole Foods because you know Whole Foods is has a lot of different food and you know you could try different things um, so I just I ooh, that scared me <laughs> that was the rice cooker <laughs> okay so <laughs> um, based on um, the rice the you know the hint that I said rice cooker um, I'm making a chicken teriyaki bowl so um, that's brown rice and chicken um, chicken breasts with some um, sea salt and uh, some some uh, like seasoning it's actually a garlic seasoning with pepper um, and um, I just wanted to show you real quick my kitchen and then uh, you know how I how I make the chicken teriyaki bowl it's really easy it's really simple when you're like you know you're, you're pressed for time and you just want to eat something quick and and delicious too so here's my kitchen fridge that's my fridge has a lot of letters my husband wrote love of my life on the fridge with all the letters. Isn't he sweet? Um, uh, here's some pictures. My nephew on the bottom here with my dog Logan. Lex, my, do my other dog, who lives, they both live in my parents' house. And um, me and my family, me and my husband, a uh, Save the Data designed a bass with a, mag uh, a bass that um, my husband bought when we went to our trip to Vegas. We went to Bass Pro Shop, obviously. <laughs> and um, that's a rice cooker that scared the crap out of me because it's done cooking. And so here's the uh, here's the chicken. Um, I take chicken tenderloin, cut it up into you know little cube pieces, and uh, season it with sea salt and uh, garlic, garlic pepper and brown rice. Um, I used uh, one cup of uh, brown rice and two and a half cup water because um, brown rice is uh, needs more water to cook and and then teriyaki sauce which is in the fridge. So now that the rice is done um, I can go ahead and cook the, uh, the okay, chicken. Okay, um, this is how you cook the chicken and it's really simple, I swear. Just put it in the pan no big deal. Oh, and I also put some cooking spray. This is really hard to uh, video yourself while you cook, especially when you need two hands. So I'm just going to do this real, real quick and show you. This is the chicken in the pan. And you just cook, cook, cook. Make sure every, the, the meat is white because you don't want to eat it raw, obviously. <laughs> I swear, I'm not trying to be smart. 
Yay, fun. You have to make sure that you don't make the uh, pan too hot. Otherwise, when you put the cooking spray, it's, it burns and then your chicken burns and it sucks. Which I almost did. You didn't see that, but I had to uh, wash out the pan and then clean it off and put it back on because I was too busy with my video. Just flip it and put it, making it into chunks is a lot easier than cooking like the actual, like the whole tenderloin because then you have to kind of wait longer. This doesn't take as long because it's little, little chunks instead. So that's cool. So turn now. <laughs> Chicken. I love chicken. I don't know how people can be vegetarians. I, I honestly think that you guys that don't eat meat, you have a lot of discipline. I don't think it's bad. I, I'm pretty sure everyone has their beliefs on eating different types of food, but I can't live without eating meat like chicken and beef. and Pork is my least favorite. The only type of pork I really enjoy eating is called lechon, and it's a uh, it's a Filipino uh, roast uh, you know term for roast pig. Um, it's roasted on usually a spit, and uh, it's rotisserie cooked for like four hours. That's the only way I really like pork. Otherwise, I'm not a fan of pork chop or anything like that. So. I'm going to let this cook for a little bit and then I'll show you exactly how I eat the, um, you know, how it looks when it's all finished. Okay, so this is the final product and I put the brown rice on the bottom, put the chicken on top, and I put some teriyaki glaze. I don't know if you can see that right there. I put some, you know, along on top of the uh, chicken and the rice. And I put some sesame seeds because I love sesame seeds. And of course, you can't go, you know, you can't go uh, without, um, a, you know, some water. So yeah, that's uh, my uh, meal. Really quick, easy. Um, the uh, the chicken took about 15, 10, 15 minutes to cook. Um, I try to cook it as well done as possible um, without drying it out. So. That's how long it took, and I am starving, so I'm going to eat that right now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and um, hopefully I'll make some more uh, eating, you know, eating posts and, um, you know, my adventures with food and, you know, try to cook some stuff and post videos about it because, you know, it's actually really fun doing videos. Um, trying to you know trying to get used to talking to the camera and being comfortable so you know I think you know this is uh, this is really fun so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching thanks bye